Ryan Saddles here at Broadcast Beat, and I've got Dan Dugan. How are you, Dan? I'm well, thank you. Good, good. So tell us about Dan Dugan Sound Design. Well, we do one thing. Uh, we manufacture uh, automatic mixing controllers, and we also license other manufacturers to use my uh, patented algorithms in uh, inside their products. Your hardware, you, I think you said it was automatic mixers, right? Yes, automatic microphone mixing. It's used a lot in uh, in uh, TV talk shows, uh, news panels, sports, uh, any place where you have a whole bunch of microphones. Uh, I mean, well, it, it works with two or more, but um, the more microphones you have, the more important it has it becomes to uh, to have a Dugan, and um, it's used on all of uh, ESPN sports commentary. Uh, it's used on the daily um, PBS NewsHour, uh, Washington Week in Review, uh, the Republican presidential debates, um, lots and lots of places. Uh, you don't know it's there because it's transparent. You never realize the technologies that's behind some of these uh, broadcasts or, or different, you know, different types of venues and events. I'm looking right now at your website and I see the. Uh, uh, Model M automatic mixing controller, and I see that it's 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 got Matty I/O, and I, I happen to be a Matty user myself. Love Matty technology. So if you could tell us about the Model M. Well, that's new, and it's just started shipping last week, and um, um, it gives you 64 channels of Dugan. Really, my my boxes are limited by by the connections on the back panel, so most of my units are you know eight channels or. 12 channels or 14 channels, depending on you know what species of connection you have. But with uh, with Matty and also with the uh, the Model N, which is an almost identical model with Dante connections, um, that's a very wide pipe. So the uh, the Matty unit has 64 channels, and the Dante unit has 64 channels also. Or they can be run it at uh, 96k for 32 channels. I see the hardware. It doesn't look really large, but does that mean it has like a breakout cable on it, or, or how does that work? Yes. Uh, well, with Maddie, of course, it's all in, in just one connection. It's one BNC connector. As far as Maddie goes for that device, is it a send device that you have or a receive device? Well, it's used in an insert point usually, so it's got a it's got a send and a return. Um, and then you would patch the individual channels into individual uh, microphone input channels of your console in the in the usually post fader send and receive the model k and i love the name tactile control panel could you tell us about that the model k is a remote control panel for uh, all the all the network connected dugans uh, they all come with some front panel controls uh, uh, but they also come with a java applet uh, which is free and gives you a complete control panel, uh, or, you know, a complete remote control panel. But in uh, many applications where someone is operating under pressure, you know, where everything just absolutely has to be right, um, people would prefer, you know, instead of a, a, a computer interface, they prefer to actually have buttons and knobs. And so the Model K gives you a, a tactile control panel for Dugans. Um, and it can handle any number of channels. It scrolls, you know, it has bank switching. It scrolls through any number of uh, Dugan channels. What got you into making this hardware? Uh, and it looks like you might have a little bit of uh, play in some of the software world as well. I saw something about Waves. I'm just kind of curious. Um, uh, yes, I license Waves. They make a 64-channel uh, version in their what they call Waves Rack. And so what got you into this whole thing? Are, are you a former audio uh, engineer? Did you work in radio or television or something? Well, I started out as a theatrical lighting designer, and I also did sound along with that. And then uh, at about 67, I switched over to just doing theatrical sound. Um, so I became a theatrical sound designer. And um, one of the jobs I did was to do... Uh, local production, well, uh, resident, the companies they call them, of Hair, the musical. I did the local productions in uh, Chicago, Las Vegas, and Toronto. And uh, in those days, you know, you could not buy a console. Uh, there were no packaged consoles. Consoles were built by hand by the chief engineers of, of radio and TV stations and by uh, recording studios. And, and so... This show had many, many microphones, and it was operated with rotary, a rack of rotary knob mixers. 
which was uh, pretty hard to operate. There were uh, 16 area mics, I think. Uh, there were uh, nine hand mics. There were 10 mics in the band. So that was quite a handful. And I started thinking about, well, you know, there should be some way to turn on a mic when it needs to be used and to turn it off again. And uh, so that was, uh, I worked about six years of developing the automatic mic mixer from, from that need. I used to do some consulting for a city hall, basically, city council meeting type chambers type of an environment. Um, and they had, I think it was about 10 to 12 guys on the council and one person would speak and a system would, would basically turn levels down and turn levels up. Is that kind of what your system does? Yeah, um, that was probably, uh, if you had any kind of automatic mixer, it was probably a gating type of automatic mixer. Uh, the system that I patented is, uh, has no gating in it. It does uh, completely smooth crossfading between the different mics, and it maintains constant ambience from the room. So when nobody's talking, all the mics are on, but they're on at a lower gain so that they add up to sound like one microphone. And then when someone talks, all the gain gets sucked to that microphone. And again, there's one microphone in the room, but it's where the person is talking. And these are all completely complementary crossfades so that you don't hear this at all. Very intelligent stuff. So uh, I see that you guys are, are going to be at the 2015 NAB show. Could you tell us what you'll be uh, showing at that, at that event? Well, the NAB is my best show. And... Um, uh, what I do is uh, I show all the products, and I showed the uh, prototypes of the uh, models M and N and the Model K keyboard uh, at the NAB this year. Dan, thank you so much for, uh, for spending your afternoon with us here at Broadcast Beat. Dan Dugan, all the way from San Francisco. Thank you very much.